Hi there! Thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. This video is part of the series of videos I post to try to help people out when it comes to attitude tests like the civil service exam, Okatla, if you'll set, and all of those things. This video in particular is part of our Math Monday series in which I try to help you out when it comes to math problems. Now, this problem in particular is something that I'm really sure will sa inyo. And um, something then na uh, nagkaroon ako ng a bit of a challenge trying to make it easier for you guys. Meron kasi siyang a number of options for you to solve it. Merong formula, merong uh, man manual, and meron din yung technique na ginagamit ko. And I hope makapili kayo dun sa tatlo na yun na makakatulong sa inyo. Okay? So, um, if this is the vid first video that you're watching from here, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell icon para malaman ninyo as soon as a new video posts. Kasi, two parts actually itong series na ito. Today, we're going to talk about how to find the sum of consecutive numbers. Okay? So, yung mga questions na find the sum of the numbers 1 to 50 or 1 to 100. And uh, the next part naman would be yung sum ng odd or even numbers. And I hope that you subscribe and hit the bell icon para ninyo ma-miss. That's going to be released really soon. Okay, so today, ito tayo, dito tayo sa sum ng consecutive numbers. And in order for me to explain that better, I'm going to switch over to my PC so I can show you how to do it. I'll see you in a bit. Alright, let's uh, talk about this. Ito yung sum of numbers in a series. And um, I know that usually lumalabas sa mga exams. Hindi lang siya kasi math, eh. It's all about logic then And um, test niya yung skill niyo in problem solving and finding ways to make some complicated problems easier. And medyo tricky siya kung hindi niyo alam yung gagawin niyo kasi it takes a lot of time. And what I'm going to do now is to present you with options on what to do with it. Okay? Ang example natin would be this. So what is the sum of all numbers from 1 to 20? Ang option 1 mo would be your traditional way which is just to write them down. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and so on and so forth hanggang makating ka sa 20 and just add them. Add all of them. Ang problema dito is time. Kasi, uh, if you have a limited amount of time, it takes a lot of it. Okay? And, again, ito ay 1 to 20 pa lang. Paano kung 1 to 100 yan or 1 to 50? Diba? Di, syempre, mas maraming time. So, in the interest of time then, hindi ko siya isosolve like this. Okay? We're just going to use it maybe to check it later. Pero I'm going to offer up options. The first option is this. Ito yung Gaussian formula na tiyatawag or Gaussian formula. Ito yung kailangan nina, ninyong i-memorize kung gusto nyong gamitin ito sa exam. Now, don't worry if allergic kayo sa formula like I am. I'm going to show you the way I do it. Okay? Pero if you want to learn yung formula, ito talaga siya. Now, this can only work if we're talking about the sum of all numbers, consecutive numbers yan. Ibig sabihin, hindi odd, hindi even. That's something that we're going to talk about in the next video. Pero for now, ito muna yung formula niya. Now, S is the sum. Ito yung hinahanap natin. N is the number of terms. Ibig sabihin kung ilan sila from 1 to 20. Now, of course, 1 to 20, that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 terms. 20, 20 na numbers. Right? So, if you fill in lang natin siya sa blank, so you have your S, yung hinahanap natin is equal to 20 times 20 plus 1 all over 2. So, isasolve lang natin siya using yung rules natin ng equality. So, mauna yung sa loob ng parenthesis, PEMDAS lang, we have 21 here, over 2. So, 20 times 21, that is 20, 21 times 2, for 42 na lang, plus, idagdag natin 0, 420, over 2, or... Divide lang natin siya, 420 divided by 2 is 210. So, the answer is 210. Okay? That is how it usually works. Now, what are your options? You have a few options here. Like I said, yung traditional method, solve mo lahat, i-add mo lahat. Itong formula or itong ginagawa ko. Now, uh, again, I'm not into formulas kasi. So, every time I see a problem like that, I think of a way to make it easier nang hindi ko niya na add ng isa-isa. And the thing with this is, merong pattern yung numbers. If you notice, kung meron kang 1, okay, at i hanggang 20 yung pinag-uusapan, right? Ang akin, ang utak ko works like this. Yung 1 kasi, okay, actually, kung ipapare ko siya sa 19, 20 din yun eh. 
Yung 2, i-prepare ko siya sa 18. Again, if I'm moving pababa or pataas, i-prepare ko lang siya. Yung 3 at saka 17, again, 20 rin yan. Yung 4, saka 16, yung 5, saka 15, and so on and so, so forth. So, you have your 6 and your 14, 7 and uh, 13, tapos 8, 9, okay? And then, 8, is tw 8 and 12 is 20 rin. 9 and 11 is 20 rin. Tapos, meron kang natitirang 10, right? Ito, umikot na yung buong numbers. So, pinaris-pares ko lang siya. Now, bawat isa yan ay 20 din. So, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, sampung 20, which is 200, tapos yung nag-iisa mong 10 na walang kapare. So, that is 10. So, 210. So, again, pareho lang yung answer. Right? Pinagpares-pares ko lang siya. Now, there is another pair you can do. You can actually write it down ng 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Tapos, dito mo lalagay yung 11, 12, 13. Kung mapapansin ninyo, pwede rin yung pares. Kaya lang, ang magiging sum niya is 21. Okay? So, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now, bawat isa yan, 21. At meron kang 10 pairs. Right? So, gagawin mo, you can also do it na 20, uh, 21 times 10 or, again, 210 pa rin. So, that's usually what I use. Kasi ay ayoko nga ng, ng old school at hindi ko rin memorize yung formula. That's what I do. But whatever uh, method that you pick out, you can work with that. So, ang test talaga dito is uh, kung ano yung uh, mas matatandaan ninyong gawin. Okay? So, let's try. Here's a quick quiz, nitong sum of numbers in a series. And um, actually, you can go back to the discussion uh, to find out kung ano yung gagamitin ninyo or, or to pick the method that you're going to use. But here's the question, okay? I'm, uh, this is a little tricky, so I'm going to give you three minutes for this one question just so you can get the hang of it, okay? Let's start.
Alright, so what is the sum of all numbers from 1 to 50? Again, this is a little trickier kasi mas malaki siya na number. Uh, we're going to go through the options that we have. First option, again, is the formula. If you, mem if you memorize the formula or if you can memorize the formula, you can also do it like that. Isi substitute lang natin. Actually, kung may formula ka na, madali na ito. Eh, no? Ang reason lang why I'm offering up the other option, which is to pair them up, is because, again, kung hindi nyo kaya mag-memorize ng formula like me. Pero kung memorize yung formula, all you're going to do is to substitute it. So, S is equal to, and then this will be 50, kasi yun yung number of terms, ilang number ba yung 1 to 50? It'd be 50. And then you have 50 plus 1 all over 2. So, you have S is equal to 50 times 51 over 2. S is equal to 50 times 51. So, pwede na lang 51 times 5 na lang muna. So, i-divide na natin siya sa 2 kasi yun yung technique ko, right? Divided by 2 and then times 2, eh, times 10. So, we have 2 and then 5 and then 5. 255 ang 51 times 5. Tapos, dagyan mo na lang isa pang 0. So, the answer is 2,550 2, over 2 or, okay, i-divide mo siya sa 2, you have 1, 2, 7, 5. Okay, so the answer is 1,275. Okay, I hope you got that right. Now, if you didn't use this formula, again, if you want to pair them up, that's also possible. Okay, you can just put, uh, you can put 1 and 49 together or 1 and 50. Right? To form 51. And then, if you go straight, 3, 4, 5, hanggang sa gitna niya, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Theoretically na lang to, hindi ko na isusulat. Kasi actually, pagdating sa exam, you don't need to write down then. So, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. Okay? So, meron kang 25 pairs na ang lalabas is Dahil saktong pair sila, 51. So, 51 na lang times 25. Okay? So, kung gusto mo mag-long cut dito, i-carry-carry lang natin siya. So, you have 5, 25, so 2 here. Okay? And then you have, you multiply it this side naman. So, 2 times 1 is 2, and then this is 10. We will have 1, 2, 7, 5 pa rin. Okay? So, actually, it's the same same answer. So, whatever you want to do, kung ano yung masadali sa inyo, go and use that. Kesa dun sa isulat mo yung 1 to 50, tas saka mo siya i-add. It will take you a lot of time. So, either way, works. Okay? You can also do it like uh, what I did before, which is yung, di ba, yung 1 at saka 49, pair din yan, 2 and 48, so on and so forth. Hagang makarating ka sa uh, 24 and 26, that would form uh, 50, and then you have your 25 here, and then your original 50. So you have 24 pairs, 24 times 50, plus isa pang 50, plus isang 25. You can also go through that. So this is 1,200 plus 50 plus 25, so that is 1,275. Uh, Again, same answer pa rin. Kung naguluhan kayo dito, again, yung ginawa ko lang kanina, right? Yung set aside 50, tas bawat isa yan 50. Kung ayaw ninyo mag-deal with 51. That's also an option. Okay? So, whatever works for you, ang tamang sagot lang, 1,275. And you did it without adding anything. Okay? Without listing down all the 50 numbers and adding it. Kasi imagine nyo kung ang tanong ay sum of all numbers from 1 to 1,000. Hindi na yari na, di ba? Alright, I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video with your friends. Lalo na kung mag-e-exam din sila para mas marami tayong matulungan. And as always, you can reach out to me directly to find out yung mga upcoming review events natin, including our online review and your live review natin. I'd love to hear back from you. You can reach out to me www.facebook.com slash teamlaika. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, never stop learning. Adja-adja, kain yan. I'll see you in my next video. And bye for now.